Hi, this is Charlene. I'm going to teach you how to make a Bitmoji that talks without using the apps. The first thing that you're going to do is go to the Google Chrome Bitmoji. I'm going to pull down one of the Bitmojis. Notice how when you bring it in, it automatically has no background. That's the advantage of using the Chrome extension. Now I'm going to pull down another pose where her head is kind of the same, but now smiling. So they kind of have almost the same stance, but one is smiling. Now what I'm going to use is to use my screen capture and I'm going to just copy the smile. Now I have the smile copy. I'm going to import it into my slide. I'm going to get rid of the smiling one. Now I'm going to insert, upload from my computer, and for me it'll be the screenshot that we just took. And I'm going to open it. Now I'm going to make it a little bit smaller so that it covers up. The smile that's here. I'm going to turn it a little bit. There. So it takes a little minute, but now I have her with a smile and without. I'm then going to duplicate this slide. And I probably would do it about 10 times by doing Control D on the Apple. Now you're going to go back up to your second slide. So here you have her smiling. The next one, you're going to get rid of the smile. You'll continue doing every other slide with a smile. Then when you put it in present mode, you'll get to see it look like your Bitmoji is talking. Hi. You can also do voiceover by using something like Screencastify to put a voiceover that could start with the first slide and then continue through to the end of the slide. The other way you could do this if you have PowerPoint, I set up this one the exact same way using PowerPoint. And in present mode, it would be the same one. You can time it. and have the Bitmoji's mouth look like it's moving. And the same thing would be done on this one. You can do an audio and you can also record the slideshow in PowerPoint. I hope this is helpful.